So this is my gym, Jack's Fit. This has been open for seven years. Um, we opened in 2017. But prior to this, I was a co-owner of a personal training studio in Philly. So I deeply understand all the stress that comes with it. I understand all the anxiety. I also understand the pride that we have in our product, in our facility, and in our reputation based on those things. And I also understand that because of those things, a lot of gym owners, a lot of fitness professionals are very hesitant to use AI because you think like it's cheating or you think it's just gonna make some crap that is gonna not represent you well. I hope that this video is proof that AI, if you can mold it correctly and use it the right way, isn't gonna do any of those things. It's not gonna harm your business, it's gonna actually help your business and it's gonna help you personally get more done and have more space to focus on either growing your business or to have more space to focus on, you know, the stuff outside your business that really matters, like, you know, your wife and your kids and things like that, or even like your hobbies and your passions. So today I wanna go over the five ways that I use AI every single day as a gym owner. The most important one that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be the fifth one. So I highly suggest you stick around for the whole video. That's the one that's gonna have the biggest impact on your life and your business. Now, before I talk about this first frequently used tool, I need to say that some of these things I had to build for myself. Fitness is a weird industry. We have like a weird technical side. So we don't always have like the best tech to do things for us. So this first system is something I had to automate and build myself. So the first thing that I use every single day is our AI nutrition coaching system. Now this is something that I can build for you. I'm not gonna give you a sales pitch. Just know that that option exists. So this system is very important because it does a couple different things that provides value to our clients outside the gym. So what this system does is it sends clients custom macros. It follows up with them once a week. And every 30 days, it's going to follow up with them in terms of like their progress so that it can recalibrate their macros so they can continue to make progress towards their goals. So with this system, I've essentially completely done away with my need to respond to texts and emails outside my working hours about nutrition and food. This system's amazing. I'm very proud of this system. It's, it's incredible. Our clients love it. Every gym who've I, who I've installed it for loves it. It's like kind of I'm pretty proud that I made it. So this system functions entirely through text message. When as a client signs up, they're gonna get a text message with a form for their nutrition intake. The system's gonna use their responses to that to create custom macros. It's gonna send it to them, it's gonna send them tips throughout the week, and then every Sunday it's gonna follow up with them about how their week went. Now, whenever a client responds to this, AI is taking over the conversation. So that means that a client can ask this system anything 24 hours a day. They can say like, hey, I'm really struggling with my protein intake. What's that protein powder you recommended again? It can help with nutrition questions. It can help with ordering at a restaurant. It can make recipe guides for them. It can make grocery lists for them. Clients can be looking at their fridge like, shit, I have nothing to eat. Text you like, hey, I have a half pound of ground beef, a bag of cashews and some tomato sauce. What's a recipe for something I could make? And the system will be able to give them a recipe in like 35 seconds. They can also order at a restaurant like, like, oh shit, I forgot my lunch at home, I have to go to Chipotle, what can I order? The system knows their macros, knows their calories, and it also knows like 75% of the menus in North America. So the system is able to sort through those two things and tell the client a couple of specific orders that they can make at Chipotle or wherever they're gonna eat to stay on track. So this system is literally like, it's like a robot AI nutrition coaching system that's available to clients 24 hours a day. With this nutrition coaching, we also use it to onboard our clients. So in terms of the accountability, they get the check-ins. But then the system also sends helpful tips, articles, and specific videos that we've made to solve problems that we know the clients are gonna have their first 30 days. This isn't your typical AI system in which you just type something and then copy and paste it. This is basically like an AI employee. So I essentially employ an AI nutrition coach who does all my nutrition coaching up to my standard, but I don't have to pay it and it works 24 hours a day. And it's really implementation of AI like that, that people are not thinking outside the box in our industry. People are thinking very much just like rigid, controlled, exactly what you think about AI. But there are so many different ways that we can take AI and turn it into an employee. So this system is amazing because this system could be working right now and I wouldn't even know about it. The system requires no input from me once I've built it. All I have to do is put clients' names in this system and it's gonna do the rest for me. The second way that I use AI is to write training programs. So our model is semi-private here. That means that we have four to six clients with one coach. But that also means that once a month I have to write like 75 to 100 new programs. And I don't mind writing programs, but I absolutely hate how long it takes to write these programs. And anybody who owns a gym that's even marginally successful is kind of smirking and going, yeah, me too. But I also know that program writing is where we feel the most pride. Programming is where most gym owners don't wanna let go at all. Pro most gym owners wanna be completely in control of the program. And that's what this AI system that I'm gonna show you does. This AI system 
is trained to only write programs like me. It's not gonna write programs like, like Luca Hosefar. It's not gonna write programs like Jay Ferrugia. It's not gonna write programs like, you know, like Tracy Anderson and have people just doing this for an hour. This is essentially just a custom GPT that I built on ChatGPT and uploaded hundreds of my previous programs with certain prompts while I was creating it so that it knows my philosophy behind programming. It knows why I program certain things. It knows the format I like the programming to come out in. And it knows the exercise selection, sequencing, volume, and frequency that I tend to use for each type of client. So now instead of sitting down and reviewing everyone's progress and writing programs one by one by one and literally taking up an entire weekend, I can just tell my personal GPT what type of program I want, who it's for, their progress, their limitations, and their consistency, and it will perfectly spit out every single time the next step in their programming, the next phase of their programming that we need. This is something that I was hesitant about because programming is a technical skill. It's something you don't necessarily want to trust to a system until you can verify that the system is gonna have the same outputs as you because if it's bad outputs, it's two things. It means that you just wasted a whole bunch of time and you need to start from scratch again, or it means that you didn't review it and you're giving your clients crap programming. When you create a personal GPT, you're gonna avoid both of those situations because it's like creating a Google of your brain, but only when it comes to programming, only when it comes to the things that go along with programming. The third way is video editing with submagic.co. I made a video last week really diving in depth about how to use Submagic, so I'll keep it brief. Basically, all you have to do to get these amazing professional looking videos is sit down in front of your camera, record, try not to mess up too much, upload that footage to Submagic, click trim, click magic B-rolls, click export. You can make a phenomenally looking short form reel, short form YouTube short, short form TikTok in like 30 seconds to a minute. And Submagic genuinely does everything for you. So I have a discount code for Submagic. I'll put it in the video description. I'll also put a link to the video where I really dive deep into how to use Submagic down there as well. The fourth thing that I use every single day is the Canva bulk create. So if you look at my social media, really honestly, like any Fit Pro social media, you notice that it's a combination of short form reels and then Twitter screenshot. But here's the thing, I don't use Twitter. All of those screenshots are made using AI and made in bulk using a feature called Bulk Create on Canva. I have another video diving really deep into how to use this, so I'll link that in the description as well. But basically all you have to do is go to ChatGPT, say write me 20 Twitter posts about these topics, write it, write it in this writing style and keep it less than four or five sentences and then save those 20 outputs, put them in a Google Sheet, go to Canva, choose a Twitter template, press bulk upload, and then you have 20 posts that you can schedule that's you know almost three weeks worth of content right there and the fifth and most important thing that i use every single day is my personal writing assistant on ChatGPT. This is a personal GPT that I've been building for about a year on ChatGPT. A personal GPT is a customized ChatGPT that basically only knows what you tell it. So the only thing that I fed this GPT are certain books that have shaped my philosophy around content, emails, copywriting, and then thousands of pieces of my previous content. Every single blog post I've ever written, every single good marketing email I've written, every single good Facebook post I've written. And this GPT's only role is to produce content that sounds exactly like mine based on the prompts I give it. So it takes all the things that it knows about my writing style, my philosophy, the way I use words, the way I use punctuation, the stories I tell, the curse words I use, and everything that is contained within the data that is my content. It knows that stuff intimately, it's deeply analyzed it, and now every output it gives is designed to sound just like me. So most of the emails I write as marketing, most of the Facebook posts come from this personal assistant. When you take your time to build a really good personal GPT or you find a really reputable company to build you one, it's worth its weight in gold because it's gonna save you so much time. So you own a gym, you understand how some days your brain just doesn't turn on. Like for me, every Wednesday, my brain is just done. You know, it's two long days, Monday and Tuesday, a long day Wednesday, and then a long day Thursday and Friday. By Wednesday, my brain is just mush. Most of the time, it's not capable of creative thought. So I'm still able to get done very good, very high quality creative work that's done up to my standard, but I can get it done in the fraction of the time and just by telling a piece of technology to do it. So AI can be a very powerful tool for you and your gym. You just have to get over that mental hump of thinking like it's cheating or thinking like it's gonna lower your standards. Fitness professionals were built for AI because AI is a language-based model. That means that it learns and it's constrained via the language that you use, either when you're prompting it or when you're building it. 
Now think about what you do every single day. You use your language to create structure around behaviors and you use your language to help others change their behavior. Building good AI systems and coaching is the exact same thing. You have to have just like that tiny bit of lateral thinking to realize that. So it really disappoints me when fit pros are very skeptical of AI because I know one, it will help them. And two, you have the skill set to dominate with it. You might as well use it. So I hope you open your mind a little bit about AI. If you want to dive deeper in the description, I'll put a link to my 35 minute AI masterclass. It's where I just go deep into every single beginner skill that you need to really dominate with AI when that comes to customer service, marketing, and content. My only mission with this channel, my only mission is to really get fit pros to embrace AI because AI is the future. So actually, AI is not even the future. AI is the right now. You just don't understand how it's impacting so many other industries around ours. And I would hate for this industry to get left behind, or I would hate for this industry, the good people that are in this industry to be replaced by complete fucking douchebags who understand AI in a couple years. So we really need to dive deep, use our skill set, and become the industry that makes AI work the best for it.